sometimes this might be as simple. You can, you can use something generic like key points, summary, something that's sort of very general if you're just looking for a general summary. And this is one of the things we actually fine tune the model to do. We're actually gonna look for financial data points. Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. And we are really excited to announce the launch of one of the new models in our Slim family that we think is gonna be one of the most useful models in this collection, which is Slim Summary. I literally just pushed the button on Hugging Face to make this model public. So this has been out there now for probably about five minutes. One of the first things we wanted to do was to make a video, let everybody know kind of what this model is, what it does, how to get it, and how to use it. Now, as most of you know, if you've used our Bling models or our Dragon models, they have out of the box within those general purpose models, pretty good summarization capabilities. You know, you can ask it for a summary, you can ask it for a list of the key points, and it's pretty good at generating a fact-based summarization of you know, complex business text. But as we thought about it, we wanted to take this to the next level. And the way we wanted to take it to the next level was really conceptualizing it around a function call. So summarization is probably the number one thing that people want to do with LLMs. Look, I don't wanna read this long text. Let me throw it into the model. Give me a summarization. Give me a summary. Summaries typically consist of lots of bullet points, lots of numbers. There's other ways that we try to split to try to get some view of all the content that's in that summary. Well, we wanted to conceptualize conceptualize this as a, a small specialized function calling model that does one thing and one thing really well, which is summarize. But then we wanted the output, instead of being just a big blob of text with all these bullets and other things we have to figure out how we navigate through, just output a Python list, a list of points, each point being a string, and then leave out all that other stuff so that we can easily see how many points we've just received in our summary, and then we can start concatenating it to aggregate into longer summaries. And then as an experimental feature in this model, we've created a parameter function. So you can start to think about, I'm gonna call my specialized function call on slim summary, and I'm gonna guide it to say, give me five points back or three points back, and then give me actually that list as an output that actually is the number of points that I've requested. So that's what we're trying to do with this model. This is the first place to go to look at it. This is the model card in the LLMware repository on Hugging Face. As usual, what we're actually gonna do in our demos is this is the PyTorch version of the model. We're actually gonna use the tool version, which is a, a GGUF four-bit quantized version of the model. I mean, when you come and you pull down the model for the first time, in the config file, we provide all the information about prompt wrapper, the prompt format, how you can actually invoke the model. We also provide a test set. And this is what we're actually gonna be walking through in the course of the demo when we flip over, is to show in just a few lines of code in LLM where you can pull down the model and then we're gonna start running against this test set. The test set, we've used this in a couple of other videos recently. These are financial statements, earnings releases, again, chock full of all kinds of financial numbers and data points about a company's recent performance. So uh, let's flip over and we're gonna dive in and we're gonna take a look at this model and how we start using it. Okay, so we're gonna pull in the model catalog. We're gonna load the model. It's the Slim Summary tool. We're turning off sampling. We're operating at a temperature of zero. We're gonna request 200 tokens for the output. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull in this test script. What this actually does is it, once it pulls down the model, it's gonna look in that config.json. If a test set of files are there, and they are gonna be there when you pull down this model, we're gonna pull that in as a, a JSON dictionary. And then what we're gonna do, the real heart of the demo, is we're gonna iterate through that set of test samples. We're gonna do a function call on our model. We're gonna pass in that context passage that we want summarized. Our function is summarize. And then the parameters, and I'll spend a minute on this. The parameters are words that you wanna to use to guide the model to perhaps some point of interest or point of view within a passage. Sometimes this might be as simple, you can, you can use something generic like key points, summary, something that's sort of very general if you're just looking for a general summary. And this is one of the things we actually fine tune the model to do. We're actually gonna look for financial data points. We wanna look at this not just out of curiosity, we wanna see what are the key points that are related to kind of the financial data points within this text. And then this really interesting thing, as I mentioned, one of the experimental features, and it's something that we're continuing to develop and, and expand upon, is you actually pass the number of points and what we're guiding the model to is provide us an output list of a summary that actually corresponds to a list with a length of that number of points. 
We're then going to get our response from the model. And because we're expecting lists, we're going to treat our LLM response just like a normal Python list. And we're going to iterate through it. It's so what we'll be able to quickly see then is a list of those summary points to say both the quality of those points, but then also to say, was the model able to actually conform with this expectation of five summary points? So let's go ahead. We're going to run this sample. And again, one of the things we've tried to do with Slim Summary, this is a locally running model. This is running on a CPU. It's a small specialized model. You can see it's already loaded in memory. It's generating responses. And so far, the zero through four is showing it is producing those five points. So we are getting a nice list. As you start to eyeball it, you see these are all net fact-based points. Another thing perhaps that's interesting to note is, as I mentioned, there are no special characters. There's no bullet points. There's no semicolons at the end. They aren't numbered lists. The zero through four are things we actually added in our script. The actual output that's being produced by the model is just that core summary point. And you can see it's doing a pretty nice job of extracting and sticking to the key financial data points that were present in that text. Now, from time to time, you can kind of see it here in this one on Comcast. We guided the model towards five points. It did a nice job. It, it gave us five points, but it, it wound up with a little bit of repetition in those last couple of points. Now, here's the first one. It actually deviated. It did not give us the five points that we were expecting. Again, it's not going to be perfect. But what we found is that it is probably 80% plus accurate that the model will give you the number of points that you've requested at times. If the text is really long and you request one or two points, maybe it'll expand it and, and vice versa. If the text is really short, it may wind up giving you fewer points than you can expect. But generally, the model does a reasonably good job of following the guidance that it's given. The financial data points that we're getting here you know, look beautiful. They're fact-based. They're exactly the kind of things that we were looking to, hoping to get out of this financial release. And again, as always, the beauty of this this is a small specialized model that is running entirely locally. We didn't have to engage in a really complex prompt and write, you know, give us this and don't give us that and show us this. Really, really simple. Give us the financial data points. Give it to us in a Python list of five points. Give us a nice fact-based summary. All uh, clipping at a reasonable level. I wouldn't say it's blazing speed, but a reasonable level running on a local machine. Um, now, one caveat I do want to mention, this is something that we've built into LLMware that is happening behind the scenes. When it gets that output from the model, you can actually see the response. It's pretty well formed as a Python list, but quotation marks can be a real problem in any type of AST literal conversion of it. So what we've put into LLMware is just a rules-based remediation script that does fix any of those issues in the output. And again, you can see worked pretty smoothly in terms of giving us the kind of output that we were looking for. But we do want to highlight that. So if you try this self-service, you try to use AST, you know, literal eval on some of these outputs, we found that from time to time, you are going to get a fail due to the presence of quotes. And we're still trying to figure out a better way to automate that. But for now, we just provided a rules-based remediation script inside the code. So pretty cool, right? This gives some nice, really net summarizations. And again, one of the beauties of it, if you have a really, really long document, chunk it up, break it up into a bunch of different pieces. And then the way that this output, this summary output, it becomes really nice and easy then to start concatenating it and aggregating it into a larger summary. Now, I mentioned um, five points. The other thing that you may want to do, and so I want to just show you a very quick example, is you might say, you know, I, I kind of think I just want one point out of this. What we found, usually if you want one point, the best way to do this is provide that parameter guidance of a brief description. So brief description with one point. Again, we'll do another just sort of quick run so you can see another sample of how the model works. This time, again, we're looking for just one summary point. And so now here we go. You can see the model maybe cheated a little bit here. It's a long summary point. It's not like one short net point, but it is giving us programmatically what we would actually expect. We asked for a single point and now it's giving us a list with a single element. Again, it's not gonna be 100%. Again, what I found probably in testing, here we go, it actually failed. It gave us three points for that response, but generally probably 80 plus percent, the model does a pretty nice job of giving you back the points that you're looking for. So we hope you're excited about this model. We think this is a super valuable, super interesting tool. And again, beautiful that you can start choreographing this in conjunction with multiple other slim models to build multi-model, multi-step agent-based processes and doing all of it on complex business documents in fact-based ways 
all running on a local machine. So all these examples are in the LMware repository, so go check them out. Any questions, issues, if you're excited, want to talk about this, any ideas you have about how we can continue to evolve the model, as always, come check us out on Discord. Thank you, everybody. 